Hey, what's up y'all? In this video, we will show you the best way to inspect elements on an Android device. One of the first tasks a developer takes when they come across a UI bug is they inspect that specific web element. Inspecting an element helps developers view and edit the HTML and CSS scripts of a specific web page on their personal screen without making any permanent changes. Inspecting elements can be helpful when trying to troubleshoot browser or platform issues. Android has a number of built-in tools that allow you to inspect the behavior of different browsers and platforms. Given the market share of Android users, it's necessary that developers and testers know how to inspect elements on Android phones or other devices. Android releases a new version of their operating system, resulting in significant fragmentation amongst users. This fragmentation can lead to app compatibility and user experience problems as various apps work differently on specific operating system versions. One way to mitigate this issue is to use cross-browser testing tools that don't require any in-house device installations or purchases of devices. Sauce Labs offers the most extensive device range and browsers for performing tests across various Android devices. This allows you to eliminate the testing pain point so that you can focus more on developing optimally designed content for the mobile experience. Let's dive in to see how this works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the Sauce Labs dashboard and select live testing followed by cross browser testing. We will then select the app we want under test. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate on the Google Pixel 7. Next, we will navigate to the developer options section and activate it. You can now start to debug on the real device. Now you can inspect elements and see the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript of the page in the DOM tree as the page is loaded. We can use the dev tools to do things like inspect the DOM tree of the mobile website and all of the other functionality in the dev tools. In other words, you can find exactly what you need to inspect. We can modify and change the elements, moving them up and down, or even deleting them. As soon as we're done with the DOM tree inspection, we can click the end test button in the bottom right corner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email to help at saucelabs.com or visit docs.saucelabs.com for all of our support documentation. Don't forget to smash that like button and to stay up to date with the new features and integrations with the Sauce Labs platform.